Hey everybody, day 33 here, and I actually literally woke up at 5 a.m. with thoughts of regret in my head. I somehow woke up just replaying <clears throat> the last full day I had with mom, which was Christmas Day of last year, and I started regretting not taking enough photos and not hugging her enough that day and going upstairs after dinner and just not checking on her again until later that night, but then not again. And, um, man, those regrets hurt. <laughs> so I started talking to her out loud. I went into her bedroom and sat at her windowsill and just talked. And I was begging her to give me a sign. I was begging her to let me feel her, to hear her voice, something to let me know that it's okay, that that last day was fine. And so I started to blog. And I blogged about this morning, and I realized that, you know, I've been saying that the grief I feel is equal to the love that she gave me, which is true. It hurts. The loss hurts because she loved me so much. But I need to learn and acknowledge that moving on doesn't mean I'm leaving her behind. Because for a while now, every time people say, you know, you'll need to move on. I'm like, screw you. I don't want to move on. Moving on means leaving her behind. That's what it means to me. So I took the time today and I looked it up and the Merriam-Webster Dictionary doesn't define it that way. Moving on simply means to accept and acknowledge and keep moving forward in life. Um, to finish one subject and move on to another. And so I thought about that and realized that moving on isn't leaving her behind. Because it really felt that way for a little bit. Moving forward sounds like a better term or phrase for me. But they're the same thing. <laughs> Um, so I do need to feel my emotions and feel this grief, but I also need to move forward in life because while looking for articles and, and information, I have found someone say that when you don't move on, then it's not one life that was lost. It'll be two. That hit pretty hard. I don't want my life to be lost because I can't get past losing mom. I can't squander the life she gave me. So I decided to think of it a different way. Is she really gone? Well, let's get down to science. Genetics. You know, family members share the same DNA. When I did Ancestry.com, I found numerous relatives. Literally, I had a thousand on my list. A thousand relatives. Think about that. That means that we all have the same or similar DNA within us. That also means that my mom, her DNA is within me, which means a piece of hers and is always with me, always. And her DNA lives inside of her entire family that she's created. Her children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, and so on and so forth. So how am I sitting here refusing to move on or, or trying to figure out how do I move forward without her when she's with me all the time? Genetically speaking. <laughs> well, that, that just brought so much peace. I mean, I've said it before that her DNA is within all of us, all of her grandkids and all of her children, and that the love she shared with dad created the life that allowed me to exist and to squander that, to not allow myself to live that life, would be a disservice to mom. So I have to keep that in the forefront of my mind because I, you know, I didn't think about that again until today. And so I need to remind myself every day because grief is hard work. Don't let anyone tell you that you're going to grieve and then you're going to wake up one day and rainbows and freaking sunshine because that's not how life works. Grief is hard. It is a process and it is a tedious 
and sometimes painful one. But you got to know that when you're grieving, grief stays. The grief you feel will stay just in a different form. And I'm going to get there eventually. One day I will get there. And when I do, you know, it'll be comforting to know that I can live side by side with grief and joy in my life. Of course, it's, you know, it's only been 33 days and I'm not giving any excuses, but I just, I don't feel that I'm done grieving the way I have been. It hits me. I don't know where I was crying this morning. So I just have to allow those feelings to happen and to acknowledge it. I also had some regrets, you know, and I listed them, but I realized that the regrets I have aren't of things like I didn't love mom enough. I wish I loved her more because when I ask myself, is that true? Of course not. I love mom. So then I looked at everything I I was regretting this morning. I didn't hug her enough. So I asked myself, is that true? Well, no, it isn't. I've hugged her thousands of times in my life. So that's not true. And then I went to the next one. I regret not taking enough photos or videos of her that day. Is that true? Well, yes, but I have dozens, if not hundreds of photos and dozens of videos of her talking and laughing. So that's not true. And when I went down the list of my regrets from this morning, I realized that none of it really had truth behind it. When I stopped to think about it, Those regrets were just surface, on the surface, at the moment. It was grief taking over and magnifying those little tiny cracks in the beauty of my life. So once I stopped to think about it, analyze and understand my feelings, I felt much better. And that's the thing. I don't think many people who are grieving the loss of a loved one or divorce or pet or what have you actually take the time to study and understand their feelings. That's what psychologists do when you go to therapy, right? So you should do therapy for yourself. It's unhealthy to hold on to these feelings. And I'm well aware of that. And that's why I write every day. That's why I I do these videos almost every day, sometimes twice a day right now, because it helps me process. So if you're grieving and you found these videos or you found my blog, which my blog is on the link on my YouTube page as well, read it. Maybe it'll help you. Just the fact that you are not alone helps 100%. So whether you can relate to my story or just what I'm saying, point is you related, right? And, And that's what matters right now when grieving someone. It matters a lot to me. And to have someone even acknowledge my grief and understand it, which many of my friends have and my husband, it helps tremendously. Don't be afraid to want to talk. And if you can't talk to someone, because sometimes I don't feel like burdening people, I do this. And it's okay to do this. Write in a journal, blog online, try to share. Try to share, that's the point. You know. So today, I woke up with regrets. I woke up not wanting to move on, but now that I understand what moving on is, and now that I understand that the regrets I have are only surface regrets and nothing deep enough for me to regret for the rest of my life, I feel better. And I hope you do too. Remember, you are never alone. And have a beautiful, beautiful day today. Because you deserve it. I know I do. And if you have your mom... Hug her for me, okay? I really do wish I could hug her today. (laughs) Every day, really. But thanks for listening. And I'll talk again soon. Bye.